How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to Everpath, the new pixel roguelike RPG. I've been fighting with some editing software for the better part of the night and it wasn't going anywhere and I was getting frustrated and decided I, I just want to put out some new content because it's been a few days. So I just want to play something as a nice little light one-off at the very least if it's if it's awesome, then we can play more. I've been talking to this dev a little bit. One man dev, by the way. I'm always a sucker for that. Uh, we were talking a little bit about how awesome Diablo was, specifically Diablo 2, and it seems like some of those things I love about the Diablo series, uh, and less so the bad sides of it, have made their way into this game, so I'm very curious about that. Pathfinder Scout, North Barrow, no, North Harrow? North Barrow, that's an H, that's a B. <laughs> North Barrow Knight, Light Infantry, and the Siege Sorcerer. That does sound like a... That's so much more compelling sounding than just a regular sorcerer, isn't it? I like the sounds of the North Barrow Knight. Although I used to play as a rogue all the time, Diablo. Mm, oh, I love ranged classes too much. Ooh, I get to know a bit about them. Specialized soldiers of the Eagle Archer Division trained to move through impassable terrain to study not only enemies' numbers, but enemies' hunger, thirst, and morale. You can really mess them up then if you, you know, call them ugly and then don't give them any water. They wouldn't stand a chance. There's uh, archery mastery, combat maneuver, arrow barrage, and explosive arrow. I don't know if you start with those or if those are things that you can, you can maybe build up to. The Witch Haven Woods was that what the act one was called? Cool. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to learn a little bit about the controls and everything. One thing I should state is this is an early access game. Uh, but the developer has been adding to it, like, continuously, like, so, so, so many updates. It's kind of what early access is all about, because the starting price is only about $5. And with the amount of content they're adding, I'm imagining at some point they're going to want to add more to the game. Like, add more to the price, sorry, as they add more to the game. So if something like this is of interest to you, you can get in on it early for cheap, have your voice heard, and then see those like direct improvements happening pretty well weekly in the game and then ha have your feedback heard and help contribute to what could be a really awesome game uh, you must choose one of the three perks available new perks available at 3, 5, and 7 maximum health uh, damage was going real low there I'm gonna go with the, the damage do I get to see what the next ones are? Mm, they will remain secret to me for now inventory I have gold oh man I actually even I'm gonna have basic armor and basic weapon okay so there's not like a hat and gloves and all that sort of stuff a scroll of armored protector a bomb and an apple to heal just a wee little bit Ooh, but I do have I do actually start with with all these extra things here oh and mini map so that's the starter. I can see the different directions I have laid out for me. There are kind of tiers to this. You do go down like a dungeon. I'm on floor one. Mm, so this is just my default mouse button. All citizens over 15 years old in the Eagle Brigade or whatever they're called, go Eagles, are required to equip themselves with bow and arrows by law. This ensures the correct amount of skill and training to master the bow. That might be one too many M's in amount. That's okay, though. They were spending all their time learning about bows. They didn't have time for spelling or English. Deals weapon damage and stops enemy charges. Oh, so if I get to later enemies and I see one, like, charging up for a big attack or a skill or whatever, I could work to interrupt it. I, I'm not going to read all the everything. So you can also roll uh, arrow barrage. Ooh, that was pretty nifty. And I don't think I have mana. Well, that was a waste of that. Let's try that one more time. Blow up the statue, maybe? Alright, doesn't look super exciting. <laughs> I was expecting a larger explosion. Oh! I'm sorry I sailed an arrow straight past you. Oh, maybe it's just a corpse. In that case, it doesn't matter. This is the this is the, the guy who matters. You found some food. Some dead, dead man's food. Do not eat this. Uh, I'll take some. I'll take a little bit. Maybe I'll find something to do with it. I thought at least this one guy, like, laying against the thing would be conscious. Haunch of meat. A haunch of strange meat, hopefully from an animal. I see no reason not to eat it. I probably will probably give it a chance to, down the line if, uh, if desperation strikes. Currently, things are going pretty breezy for me, so I'm, 
I'm okay with that. You'll notice that like the character kind of has like a floaty feel to it. It's not major, but there's a little bit of it there. Ugh. Did I did I just kind of do it looked like I had done a bit of a melee chop. It's just that he managed to get so close. This Minotaur guy kind of reminds me of like the goat or Kaz Kazra or whatever they're called in later editions of Diablo. Um, much less of a less of a cool name than just calling them the goat men. But uh, that's what he reminded me of. Ah, oh, nice. The trap stops as soon as they're they're all gone. But that that was a big thing from the initial launch of the game. Is people have you know gifs and videos of it and like the they've tightened up the movement in this game a lot since then I would say it's in a decent place right now it's certainly not perfect I don't want to delete it I just want to use it do I do I have to like equip it down here first well first things first I guess I'm just going to eat an apple I feel better now and maybe somewhere down the line I'll be able to use the meat. Maybe its purpose isn't as clear as I, I thought it would be. But yeah, I just thought the movement was a really good example of the dev clearly working towards improving things. I like that you can see through things when you go past them. You gotta, you gotta have slime monsters. It would be silly not to, right? Boom! Yeah, that was a good use of explosive arrows. Have I somehow not seen a chest yet? Like, have I, have I been missing them, or have I literally just not encountered any up until this point? I'm going to chuck another apple in, I think. Old dusty scroll, it said. Ah, uh, but when I pick it up, it tells me what it actually is. Oh, I'm an idiot. That's, I was trying to equip it down there. Of course. Of course. But do I have to chuck it down there to use it? That kind of seems like it. Hey, the apple auto-equipped itself after, after I would used it. Another old dusty scroll. I guess maybe that means I should be making use of this armored protector business. Did that not do it? Oh, no. Okay, he just takes a second to read it. Oh, I trapped myself in a corner. Ah. I guess I should have stopped. Do you know what I should have done? <laughs> Duck and roll. Oh, God. Okay, this is, I'm, I'm doing terribly. I, I think my character is a bit too fast almost. I mean, I, I like that I can outrun these guys, but uh, I feel like I was borderline trapping myself a little bit there. Whew, smells and looks great. Juicy steak. Is it cooked? Hard to say, but it seems like this character doesn't mind, so I guess I, I can get on board as well. I'm hungry. Why not? Uncommon armor. First little bit of armor to switch it up with. Armor rating 7, this guy's 4, block chance, additional HP. Ooh, way more additional HP. You can read about it a little bit too. An Akatin jacket? I don't know if that just goes with the Scout Gambeson, like your default armor. I don't know what an Akatin is. It's a new word for me. Preferred by the North Barrow Scout Unit, offering some defense when traveling the wildlands. And you, a Scout Gambeson... <laughs> Reinforced with thick leather and some small steel plates. These are probably real words. Gam Gambeson and stuff. I'm just so used to seeing words that are closer to like, uh, I don't know. Leather armor, hard leather armor, mail, plate mail. <laughs> when I think about it, the naming conventions in Diablo are very uh, straightforward, but I guess that was kind of helpful, wasn't it? What do you guys think this is it going to activate like a challenge or something or is this going to be uh, good for me a save point of some kind you feel rested and I found a crimson key that must have been in like the other room or something because that that I definitely saw that under my portrait and I just didn't understand right away found something it looks like a health potion blood vial less less useful seeming a glass vial containing magically treated blood consumed to increase max health by five Permanently? Seriously? There's gotta be a better way to, like, auto use things. Can I just drag it onto my portrait or something? Nah, that's a big recommendation of mine, is create a better way that I can use items like this. It opens the door on level one. Oh, okay, well, obviously the big pulsating one that's uh, glowing red, right? Or crimson, as some, <laughs> some might say. I don't think I can do anything with this big statue. All right, Crimson Key access it is. Oh, is it? So it's not necessarily, ooh, a nice crit. Oh, Jesus. 
uh, it's not necessarily going to be like access to a, a new secret special room or anything. It might just be a regular old room, but it might give you a new through route in in the when exploring. So I have the Armored Protector, which I think I used terribly. Demon Blood Pact. Exchange 20 current health for 10 maximum health. Can and will kill the user if not used carefully. I like that. That's very cool. And I'm feeling risky, and so I'm going to make the trade-off. I wish I... Oh, no, no, no. Do you know what? I can probably look at my max health here. 104 is what I've gotten it up to, but I'm already... You know, sitting at half because of some relatively risky playing. Hmm. I guess I can tell where I've been based on the fact that it shows the in-betweens. Ah, it's a slightly different blue. I would say I would like to see that blue be slightly different. I feel like usually I don't pitch ideas like this on the fly when I'm playing a game. But, uh, we're playing a game that very much I know, like, anything I do is going to make it in front of its eyes of the developers. So it's very cool. I like that. I, I, I feel like I'm not very trusting of that often when playing around with early access games. And this is a situation where I feel like that's a... I, I feel very comfortable being like, yeah, just my opinion. Please don't feel obligated to do anything I say. But uh, yeah, I'm going to put it out there. Hmm, pretty weak short bow. This one was a composite. Oh, this guy's faster then. Hmm... So 4 to 10, how much faster do you think that's going to be? I'm, I don't get a formal damage per second calculation to, like, help me out. I have to click myself, too. I can't hold a click to attack, so I basically just have to spam it to try and take most advantage of a faster attack speed. And for that reason, that I'm... Yeah, the, the difference isn't major, and based on the fact that I'm kind of not multitasking particularly well. <laughs> Use all your bonus abilities. I just mashed buttons and I think I probably used one or two things that were not what I was trying to use. I hate this room. That was awful for me. Jesus. How'd you make out, buddy? <laughs> that went really, really poorly. Uncommon bow. Okay, this one was uncommon as well when I found it. It's its name isn't a different color or anything like that. This guy's a siege bow. 10 to 15. Okay, higher, lower chance. Critical hit chance is the same. Uh, so the composite bow, superior power comes not only from its unique design, but also from exceptional crafting. And the siege bow, the preferred bow of North Barrow archers when laying siege to enemies' fortified positions. Level 1. Hmm, I wonder if I'll level them up? Or if you just find higher level 1s sometimes. I also just get gold. I don't have to, uh, like, run around and collect it on the map, which I like. Is this thing? Obsidian Key. It emanates malicious energy. It was made to keep something locked in for good. Opens a crystal or boss door in level 1. Okay, I was pretty sure I started with it. Uh, and I would say those suspicions are confirmed. And that I probably don't want to go there immediately because I'm kind of low health. I could maybe gear up a little bit more. I'm going to change my primary spells. Because I feel like, um... And then you can become, like, R? Yeah. I feel like that might be a little bit more convenient. Because going with the WASD and then moving up to 1 and 2, I have to very much, like, disengage from my spells. So if I have it nice and, like, quick right next to my fingers here that I'm hoping that means I'll be able to do it a lot better because as soon as all those spiders charged me I just spammed buttons and it went terribly and uh, yeah that's what I'm looking for right now is a little bit more convenient spell usage you fools you weren't prepared for me to learn how to use spells so quickly were you <laughs> Okay, that room went well, made me feel awesome. I have to really do like a thorough pixel scan to see the chests. The chests are not immediately apparent. I'm pretty sure, yeah, yeah, this is like the the blue one, presumably. At least I'm pretty sure that's what's going on there. That might be that might be a different kind of blue. Maybe I'm carrying like a cyan key and that's a, that's a regular old blue. I don't know what's going on. That looks like some Aragorn shit. I gotta go... 
Gotta make sure I reforge that sword. Can't leave it unforged. That would be stupid of me. I also found a golden Teleria. Not a tiara, a Teleria. They look like winged boots. Speed is the essence of war. Bonus speed 100%. Jesus. Oh, so it, it's... Hmm... 100% is a lot, and I don't think I can, like, manage that. I don't know when I picked up Fireball. Uh, I'm going to use it now, strictly because I want to see and know if it's a one-time use. It's a one-time use. You go so damn fast. <laughs> That's, like, so crazy uncontrollably fast. Uh, yeah, I was never going to be able to use that effectively. I think wasting it like that for the sake of learning was worth it. So, like, I can go whip that open, right? Yeah, totally. This might just be, like, a doodad. Uh, the same way as, like, these statues are. And, like, because it's procedurally generated. Which I don't think I said, but I feel like for this game type should have been probably inferred. Uh, that's 100% a Game of Thrones reference. So now, all of a sudden, me and this dev, uh, Pixel Accountant, I believe he goes by, now share our love of Lord of the Rings and Diablo. As if we're, like, the only two people on the planet who <laughs> share that love. Varric, the merchant. Greetings, traveler. I'm Varric. I barter for goods or gold. Is there something you want to buy? Well, I, I'd take a look at least. Cavalry bow. It's fast with good damage. It's like very similar damage and fast. Uh, it doesn't say... Oh no, the crit chance is even better. How much does this thing cost? I will sell most of my stuff to buy that, I think. And these two are the same. This one costs more. What do you know? <laughs> uh, scroll of Weapon Master. Deal 12 damage for 10 seconds. Ah, I was hoping that would be one of those permanent boosts. Armor 7. I feel like the one I found is good. Armor 7. High block chance. Decent additional health. This guy's got better additional health. And studded. Studded armor. That's a more familiar terminology I could get behind. Same additional health. So I would say the trade-off there is not that good. This is what I need to aim for. I hope... I can sell this stuff for enough. Oh, hold B. Wait. Ah, this is how you do it. You click it and then B. Click B, click B, 666 for just like a half of a second there. Oh, I guess I can sell the, the main bow too. That was one thing I had not considered while I was uh, going through my different options of what I can and can't sell. I clearly can't be trusted with that, so I'm going to go ahead and ditch it. You can only carry two of those at a time. Well, thanks, Varric. I feel like I'm very down with this new bow you got me. I think it seems like a solid piece of craftsmanship. And I was told that that was something I should care about. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go tear things up. That's my new plan. I got this extra high crit chance. This guy's just gonna sit here uh, spamming from his little corner there. He's not gonna try and move around. These guys are giving up. They saw how good this bow looked. And they felt no need to be dodgy or put any effort in. They just, just sit there and take it. And I'll just sit there and do my thing. And I'm going to win. Because I'm a pro. And they're just dumb, weird, goat-legged, skull-faced losers. <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's me going back to the beginning of the game where it said I can lower their health... And their hunger and their thirst and their mor morality, their morale. <laughs> a basic instruction of unit transportation. Find a crystal lost in an obsidian room or in a boss chest and use the crystal in the current level portal stone. Step through the portal to pass the current level. Hmm. So, if you <laughs> gun it to the boss, if you like happen to make it to the boss very quickly, you're not uh, guaranteed a way out because you're going to have to still go in search of this room. Uh, I like that it highlights some of the more significant rooms. It gives me a nice uh, reference point. This is definitely the boss. Uh, I, guess I, I guess I go and clear the level 100%. And then I have two other rooms I haven't actually been in. Oh, of course, of course. So I got to go do it in the other order. Thanks. Thanks, game. Thanks for laying it out like that. That you're like the only two rooms that don't have convenient li link linkages. Jesus. 
<laughs> we're gonna get killed by these stupid spiders. No, 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 no. I'm trying to, I'm trying to set them up so that they're like standing near me in a good spot. Oh, I hate this. I think that the spiders should stand still for like half a second when you enter a room or something because they just mess me up like crazy. Or maybe, maybe my strategies, as in running into them repeatedly, maybe that was the wrong move. Oh, you auto get keys. That's why I'm never seeing them or finding them or anything. I'm not actually picking them up. Oh, I'm so close to leveling up. Come on. I really want to go check out this room and kill the boss and hope that that's enough experience spread out, spread out across the world that I can level up. Oh, come on. All right, it's redemption. Redemption time. Oh, that's the kind of clustering together that I've been repeatedly trying to get out of you guys. Shit, I always roll myself into little walls and stuff and it never goes well. Jesus. Oh, that's got to be a record for most number of times anyone's ever rolled themselves straight into a corner. Well, this guy's got nothing to contribute. I'm going into this with just low, low health. What, what, am, I, what am I legit sitting at? A quarter? Ugh, worse. Worse than a quarter. Oh, boss or crystal. Boss and crystal? Boss or crystal. Maybe every, like, second level has a boss or something. Maybe it's random. Maybe I got off really easy. But <laughs> shit. I was, like, super not uh, going to be able to deal with the boss right now. So that's okay. All right. Let me through. I'm ready for round two. Hook me up. Show me what's, show me what's in store. Act one. Witch Haven Woods still? Floor two. Okay. Which which Avrin? Which Avrin? Hmm. This is not a word I've ever known. <laughs> am, I, is, am I just gonna be getting uh, different combinations or uh, larger groupings of enemies for now? Oh, I critical all of them. That was pretty sweet. I, I wasn't sure if I would start finding new enemies. Probably once I clear... Oh, that was such a well-timed level up, because I definitely was going to die. Maybe I have to make it through this act before I'll start seeing those specific bonuses. Light cavalry... Nah, I'm sticking, sticking with what I got. Decently large map. Uh, hopefully... Hopefully I can find my way through in a, a decent time, decent amount of time. Armor 10. Oh, I'm starting to find like level 2 things here. So, a uh, much stronger siege bow than what I have. And an exceedingly good great bow. Ah, uh, not, not high crit chance. Very slow. Just high base regular damage. I guess I'll have to wait and see if that's like a worthwhile trade-off. I can always come back to this guy. I can't afford any of his stuff right now. So, wait a second. Are you the same dude? Varric. He gets around. <laughs> <laughs> He's willing to risk these these big baddies. Oh god, I didn't was not prepared for there to be these little pillar things. I would like if the first time when you first walk into a room, if they're going to be like this so similarly the same color palette as the rest of like things on the map, it would be much see now I'm just taking stupid damage. But it would be much appreciated. Fuck me. Uh, if they like glowed a tiny bit or something like if they their eyes and mouth like lit up and then cooled down and then they started shooting or something just like give my peripheral the chance to like witness that they're there judge react and then and then go from there that went terribly in the other room there dude I'm gonna need you to hook me up with one of your famous uh, drumsticks here oh he sold me three of them fan Fantastic. I'm just gonna eat them all right now. I see no reason not to because otherwise I might die and I'm I ain't trying to die just yet Somewhere down the line. Maybe that'll be my goal. I haven't played a ton of the game yet I don't I don't know what this particular character's missions are that might they might uh, might be what they are going for I'm just a North Barrow scout. I don't actually have a, a specific name I wasn't sure if it would have procedurally generated names as he went through I'm just going to sell that when the opportunity comes because there's no way I ever make responsible use of it. Load up my fireballs, armor protection, yeah, I don't need any of that. 
what's up with this dude? I did see something that starting on floor two, you can start finding, uh, Jesus, like stronger, rare, elite variants of, of enemies. Oh, I thought I, I don't think my roll was recharged in time. I tried to slip by him. Crap. But yeah, I guess that would have been one of the rare variants. Uh, and I guess that probably meant he had a health bonus or something. You were slain by a much more experienced forest slime. It's just a just a real kick-ass forest slime. Doesn't matter how much days you spend in the barracks, that slime has been pumping those guns in the gym every day. It's okay. Obviously, you weren't even trying. Thank you. Thank you, game. Your last words were, but what if this poison bottle is actually a health potion? <laughs> Press any key to fail again. Oh, don't be so rude about it. Oh. That was not exceedingly well done. So that was the Pathfinder Scout. I want to read just basically what it says about these other guys. Committed champions for the king and their orders of knighthood. Blessed by the Tower God and sworn to protect the life of all North Barrow citizens with their own. They have the Harnesh procession, an extensive training in, in armored fighting. The Dirschlaufen that run through, run through slashing enemies, so it's probably like a roll, but you also attack. Uh, holy power slash, that's a, that's a hard hard word to get your, your mouth around there. There's the Harnish Fish Faction, and the Dershilaufen, and then the Holy Power Slash. It's difficult, I, I need to practice my German, apparently. Ignite the air with holy energy, and the Sword of the Gods unleash the Tower of God Retribution. Change class. Specializations. What does that mean? Oh my goodness. Every hero is different. From common folk to nobility, and with interests ranging from magic, close quarter combat, alchemy, and more, you may choose one, only one starting trait. I must have just not done that. Do you know what? It defaulted to adventurer. Uh, you could also have farmer, man-at-arms, you get reduced scroll power, but increased healing from food. Family heirloom, begin with an uncommon magic weapon, I like that, that's cool. Noble, begin with an uncommon magic armor, also decent. Scholar, reduced bomb power, increased scroll power, uh, this is alchemist, the opposite. That, uh, kind of predictable going through it there. Strong man, reduced damage dealt, but increased armor and health. Duelist. Kind of the opposite there. Increase damage, reduce armor and health. Ooh, and a few locked ones. Okay. I like what they're doing with the uh, with the specializations there. That's cool too. Does everyone have the same? I would assume so. Yeah, that makes sense. And the light infantry, the spearhead of the North Barrow Army, comfortable in both attack and defense, focused on maneuvering and flanking the battlefield at the expense of armor. He has infantry, infantry training, which lets him use his sword. Combat maneuver, same thing for dodging, shield bash, and twisting slash. And finally, the siege sorcerer, who sounded very interesting. Hmm. Very, uh, not available yet, maybe? Magic is a common occurrence in this world. Spells are generally used for traveling and alteration. Harmful spells are prohibited, except for war and law enforcement, by the army sorcerers. Trained to the Red Tower and specializing in laying siege to enemy fortified positions. Now that the war has ended, the Archmage of the Red Tower summoned all sorcerers to council. Yeah, so you legit can't select this character right now. Probably coming in a later update, or maybe you have to unlock it, I'm not entirely sure. Gives you a little bit of a sense of what the rest of these guys got going for him. I'm not, I'm not doing a full run of this. Oh, I do like that it has different unique art for all that. I don't remember what specialization I picked. It was some random, uh, what have you. I didn't, I accidentally selected something just while I was busy navigating the menus and things like that. Uh, I just want to, I just want to test out the feel, the feel of playing as a melee character. Yeah, great. Just keep putting me in a bunch of situations where I can't can't make use of it. Come on. This is preposterous to get that many rooms in a row without uh, anything. Okay. Oh, that's the feel of that attack was cool. Oh, that called down to where my where my mouse was. Oh, that's a cool skill too. I like that one a lot. There's his there was his combat 
maneuver thing. I'm like not trying to do great here. I'm just trying to show off skills and mess around with things a little bit. <laughs> this guy's kind of cool to play as. The melee, the melee in this game is pretty neat. Oh, and one thing I hadn't considered, you only find bows when you're playing as range. You only find swords. So you don't have to worry about finding a bunch of things you're not going to be able to use anyways. It's clearly a, a far better sword. Uh, yeah, but that's just one thing that I figured would be interesting to see. So, maybe you never find a boss on the first floor. That might be a little bit of a confirmation for that as well. <laughs> That's preposterous that I found this already. Well, now I'm going to go back and go collect some of these stupid things that happen to be nearby. I was, like, wrapping up the episode. I was totally just moving on. But now I'm going to try and bum rush a boss. <laughs> and just see if I can, like, pull that off at all. Ooh, now we're getting more, like, elite variants. These guys have skills that they can actually cast. Uh, one thing is I don't actually think I have, like, a shield or anything, so I don't entirely know how I'm supposed to really maneuver, like, protect myself. That That's, that's gonna be a much more serious learning curve in this game, is just trying to figure out how the hell to not die, uh, just continuously. It's a real concern. Ooh, the Flamburgers just look cool. And I kind of sounded like I said Flamburgers, but no flam Flamburgers. Chug, chug down all those apples, quickly shotgun them. Wow, I thought it was like a now and again you find, you find, uh, stronger enemies. It's a all the time thing. Do you know what? I probably just have to get better at, uh, fleeing, like, more often and stuff, rather than sticking out the fights. Yep, better armor, you're going on. Oh, come on! Everything! Every which way I go! Everything's a bit stronger. Do you know what it's kind of doing for me, though? Is it's, like, highlighting where attacks are going to? And I think that's because it's a lot harder to maneuver as this melee character, so it's giving me a bit more freedom, a bit more aid in that sense. So I appreciate that. I, see, I, I feel like I see what he was going for. And I, I died again. <laughs> Only way I'll lose this fight is by rolling a one. And, ooh, it was a hell of a one. Oh, those are bugbears. Bugbear warriors. That's cool. Uh, funny Dungeons and Dragons stuff. Uh, it would be funny if I could have made it to a boss, but I really, my heart wasn't in, on that run. I was just kind of goofing around seeing what another class looked like. Little bonus tag on at the end. Was not planning to do that originally. There you have it, guys. Everpath, I would say worth checking out because it's a very cool iterative process that's going on. One man developer doing everything, which is always so cool, and they're doing such a bang up job with it. I'm very interested to see where the game goes from here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.